Minister Njeru Gidai says that Treasury is not denying funds uh, for micromanaging counties. Now, this follows protest by a section of governors that the government is undermining them and is keen on killing the spirit of devolution. Sophia Wanuna has been following this county budget story and joins us live from the KTN newsroom with the latest. Good evening, Njoroge, and a good, been, good evening to all our viewers. Now, as you rightfully mentioned it there, of course, uh, the induction of the county governors has been going on in Naivasha. And remember, during the opening ceremony of that induction, some of the governors had raised concerns with the involvement of the National Treasury in formulating the budget for county governments. They said that uh, they were accusing the National Treasury and some forces in government of meddling with the uh, county government. So I prepared this report let's take a listen at what the finance minister and general Gizai had to say so this idea that there is somebody in government or in treasury or wherever is against the, the, the devolution i don't know where it came from treasury has gone out of its way to assist the county government Outgoing Minister for Finance Njeru Gedai disputed claims that the Treasury in formulating county budgets for the transition period was interfering with the independence of county governments. Have absolutely no intention of micromanaging the counties because we are not even capable of doing so. If we had not done this, the earliest time they would have been able to access funds would have been after July. So the main purpose for having the transition would then have been defeated. The 47 counties have been allocated a total of 9.8 billion shillings for the transition period between March 4th and end of June this year. If the county governments want to change this, or they are unhappy, or they want to, or the priorities are different from this, then they have to go through the same, same process now. A process that would see them only access funds towards the end of their financial year, leaving them without money during the transitional period. Gidai said that the county governments will receive more than the minimum allocation of 15% stipulated in the constitution. Let us not spend time disputing petty stuff about what, 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 what powers uh, what you have and the other fellow has or what doesn't have anything. It is these remarks by President Kibaki at the opening of the governor's induction workshop in Naivasha that left some governors agitated, with some claiming that the national government was interfering with devolution. The reminder from the president, in my own opinion, should be taken from the perspective of national integration and unity, and I hope that's what he meant, uh, rather than from the perspective of functional functional uh, i mean the allocation of functions to the counties and the autonomy when it comes to to the functions of the county government the county commissioners will not be in charge of the county budget as alleged within some quarters as their roles are clearly stipulated in the constitution national government coordination act is very clear as to the functions of county commissioners they are only going to coordinate the functions of national government at the county level All right, we have heard from the finance minister there, Njeru Gidai, defending their role in preparing that budget for the transition period. Of course, the transition period runs between March the 4th, the date of the general election, and the end of June when the financial year also comes to a close, saying they were just trying to assist the county government. And of course, they are uh, ready uh, to let them prepare their own budgets if they so choose a process that, of course, would take quite some time, uh, as he explained there in that press briefing that you've just watched. Now also one of the things that he highlighted before I hand it back to you in Jiroge is that he had met the president-elect Uhuru Kenyatta and deputy president-elect William Ruto and that they told him to uh, include in the budget estimates for the next financial year the promises they made in their campaign trail and one of the things that they highlighted that uh, the free maternal health care must be provided that must be made to happen as soon as possible and also free access to government dispensary services and 
another uh, promise they made during the campaigns was the free milk to uh, primary school going children and more so the laptops everybody has been asking about those so the two principals of course incoming uh, by 9th of April of course they're going to be sworn in and Joroge they urged the two uh, William Ruto and Uhuru Kenyatta urged the finance minister to make sure that those promises they made are part of the budget of course the minister did say that free uh, laptops for the primary going children that would take uh, some time it will be implemented in phases but of course it would be implemented Joroge back to you thank you